A federal judge just slapped a $50,000 fine on former President Trump's lawyers. Why? Well, for filing a, quote, frivolous lawsuit against former Secretary of State and former Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton. That lawsuit was filed earlier this year. The lawsuit claimed that Clinton, along with other Democrats, conspired to rig the 2020 election. Florida U.S. District Judge Donald Middlebrooks, appointed, by the way, by President Bill Clinton, handed down his decision yesterday. The judge is requiring the lawyers on that lawsuit to pay a combined $50,000 penalty to the court. Additionally, Trump's lawyers must pay $16,200 to public relations executive Charles Dolan. Dolan was one of the defendants in the lawsuit and represented himself. The judge said that the pleadings filed by the lawyers contained many false claims, claims about Dolan and his influence in the Clinton campaign. In his written order, Judge Middlebrook said that Trump's lawyers showed a, quote, cavalier attitude towards facts throughout the case. According to The Hill News, Alina Habba, one of Trump's lawyers who got sanctioned, said that they plan to appeal the judge's decision. Former federal prosecutor Joseph Moreno joins me. Joe, um, they, were, they were hit with a Rule 11, uh, which is a civil rule, right? That's right, Greta, yes. And, and what's different about this is that it, it's, it's not Trump who did anything wrong, the court's saying. They're saying the lawyers. Right. So when you file a, a federal civil lawsuit, one of, as one of the lawyers, you have to attest to three things, basically. That you have adequate facts to support your allegations, that you have a, a, a true and accurate legal theory to support your allegations, and three, you're not bringing the lawsuit for an improper purpose, such, such as to harass someone. Judge Middlebrooks basically said the lawsuit here failed all three of those tests. And therefore, so Rule 11, it's not common. I was right? just going to say, I, I never, I mean, Rule 11 was so rarely used when I practice law. It is rare. I mean, it's, it's common to have cases thrown out, right? That happens all the time, where you can have partial or fully cases just dismissed for whatever reason. But to go further and say, not only is this case not have merit, but it's so egregious that we're going to punish the, the party that brought it and the lawyers involved, yeah, it's pretty bad. You know, I was. And one thing I did notice, I thought the legal fees were low. That's the one thing I did notice. I mean, that, oddly enough, is that I thought they were getting hammered with, you know, huge legal fees. It, it must have been, it must have happened quite early on in the litigation. Yeah, I'm guessing the the fifty thousand plus sixteen k is not really going to like put a real dent in in anyone's in anyone's pocket. Uh, it's maybe more symbolic, but it's 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 a reminder that look, you know, you can you can say all kinds of things on social media. You can say all kinds of things in speeches if you're a political figure. But you go to court, particularly federal court, you really want to be able to back up your allegations with real facts and real legal theories. But you can even have a novel legal theory that's just one that's, you know, that may turn out to be ridiculous in the end, but you don't get Rule 11. No. I mean, you have to, I mean, I guess when I look at this, you have to really, you know, go off the edge. Yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty bad, really. It's, it's, you know, it's, and what I think is a shame here, though, Greta, is that um, I, I don't know the basis for why they brought this case, if it was really just a public relations stunt or if they really thought it would go somewhere. The, the, the problem I see, though, is that what this comes down to is the sort of a lot of the Russia collusion allegations and whether it happened at all. And looking back, we do know that the core allegations that the Trump campaign colluded with Russia were largely nonsense. And, and and yet we have a special counsel in John Doerr. And it was and it was linked to the Clinton campaign. Right, right. So I mean, so the idea that the Trump camp was in bed with Russia. I mean, look, they did plenty of things wrong. I mean, and having people like Paul Manafort involved in the campaign doesn't, wasn't a good look. But in terms of just the collusion narrative, it was, it was nonsense. And I, I'm sure that the Trump camp feels that they would like to kind of get back, right? They, 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 they're owed something. They want some kind of vindication. They're not going to get it with this lawsuit. I mean, the, the, the idea that this would vindicate them or, or show some kind of a collusion between the Hillary camp and, and, and the media and the FBI and all that, it's not going to pan out. And so I'm, I can get the frustration. They're just not really playing it out right. Well, what, what I always say is that, you know, the way it's portrayed in the media, too, is it almost like, like Trump filed it. Trump didn't file it. I mean, this, I mean, it's his, his lawyers. I mean, not, you know, you can have a, a, a client who's pushy, but nonetheless, you know, it's, it's, you know, you're on, you know, you're the one who signed the papers. That's right. I mean, yes, you have an obligation. And it's not just one lawyer here who got sanctioned. I'm thinking like, you know, how, how does this make it through so many lawyers? Unless, a few. unless the judge is a complete nut, which I mean, I don't have any information on that, but I mean, it's, it's really unusual. So many lawyers signed off on this. You do have, you do have an obligation to sort of educate your client and even clients that can be well, handful. You can refuse. You Absolutely. Don't, you know, I mean, Absolutely. you don't have to file stuff that's like, 
absolutely. So there are times when you have to push back at your client and say, hey, look, you know, I know you feel passionately about this. I know you have these theories in your head, but if it's not going to fly in court, we're in some real danger here. So, I mean, there but, clearly was a breakdown. But you think even the lawyers have some sort of survival instinct and not file something. I mean, assuming that, you know, it's, I mean, it's, they're going to take it up on appeal. I mean, everybody appeals everything. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen to court appeals. Most people don't win their appeals. But you think that the lawyers would have had more of a survival uh, interest in terms of not signing something. If it's as bad as the judge said, then the judge said blistering things. Um, I, mean, he, I mean, he just said, uh, he was talking about this cannot be attributed to incompetent lawyering. It was a deliberate use of the judicial system to pursue a political agenda. I mean, he hasn't minced words. No, I mean, he basically said it was a harassment case. It was basically, you know, it was used to harass, I mean, there was 29 different defendants, right? So it wasn't just Hillary Clinton. It was former FBI officials and names that you would know. And this person, Charles Dolan, who's the one who got the, you know, got the payment this time. Um, so, you know, judges don't like that. And again, judge, you know, lawyers have an obligation to really educate their client. And a client might feel passionate, might feel completely justified in bringing a case. But if the facts and the law aren't on your side, be careful, because this is what could happen. All right. Any chance, to, I mean, we haven't seen, we don't know much more about this than what we read in, in, the, in the plea and stuff. Any chance to an, an appeal? I mean, it's always a chance. Can but, you get Rule uh, 11 on an appeal, bringing a frivolous appeal? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if you can or I not. don't even know about that, but uh, anything's possible, I suppose. Anyway, but I don't I'd know be that. careful. We'll be watching this. Anyway, anyway, thank you, Joe.